A very good evening and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Abul Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order Number no. 26 of 2019, appointing Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa as President of the Financial and Administrative Bureau. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued decrees 39 of 2019 and 40 of 2019. Decree number no. 39 of 2019 stipulated the restructuring of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, the LMRA, as follows The Board of Directors, the LMRA Executive President, Policy Management and Market Data Directorate, Grievances and Protection Directorate, Communication Directorate, Vice Executive President for Resources and Services in the rank of Assistant Under Secretary, Financial Resources. Directorate, Human Resources Directorate, Business Owners Service Directorate, Expatriate Service Directorate, and Legal Affairs Directorate. Vice President for Operations and Data Systems in the rank of Assistant Under Secretary, Application Processing Directorate, Audit and Development Directorate, Programs Development Directorate, Information Systems Directorate, Wages Protection Directorate, Vice President for Legal Control in the rank of Assistant Under Secretary, Licensing Directorate, Preemptive Inspection Directorate, Labor Inspection Directorate, Decree Number 40 of 2019 stipulated the restructuring of the National Oil and Gas. Authority Noga under the presidency of Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Minister of Oil, and the following members Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, Khalid Amr Al Lumehi, Sheikh Tariq bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Dr. Faiz Hashim Sada, Engineer Faisal Mohammed Al Mahrous. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law Number no. 8 of 2019, amending Article 11 of Law 58 of 2006 regarding the protection of the community against terrorist acts. Under the amendment, a prison sentence not exceeding five years and a fine of no less than 2,000 Bahraini dinars and no more than 5,000 Bahraini dinars will be the penalty for each one who promotes, exalts, glorifies, justifies, admires, or encourages acts of terror punishable by law inside the kingdom or abroad. A penalty of imprisonment for a period not exceeding five years will be inflicted upon everyone who holds or possesses personally or through another person a document or record containing the aforesaid promotion where it is intended to be distributed or shared. The same penalty will be inflicted on anyone who holds or possesses personally or through another person any means of printing, recording or publicizing regarding Regardless of the type thereof, whether used or intended for use, even on a temporary basis for printing, recording or broadcasting such promotions. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa visited today Muharraq Central Market where he inaugurated a mall and directed to preserve the Central Market's temporary building with the current rented shops for buyers who wish to visit them. His Royal Highness also directed to rearrange the area to provide more parking spots for commercial service and educational facilities and to facilitate traffic flow from and to the Central Market. He instructed to build more developmental projects that serve Muharraq and its residents and contribute to developing and improving governmental and non-governmental services. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that the residents of Muharraq are worthy of these large developmental projects that increase the modern growth features in the governorate as part of the development and reconstruction strategy adopted by the government in implementation of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to develop the kingdom's cities and villages and provide various service facilities required by the citizens. He noted that increasing modern commercial markets represents one of the aspects of development in the kingdom and that the government is implementing a comprehensive strategy to develop these markets in various areas. His Royal Highness asserted the government's keenness on developing commercial markets in Bahrain in light of the growth and urbanization in the kingdom to fulfill the citizens and residents' needs and support small businesses. He noted that the development of Muharraq Central Market proves the government's interest in traditional traditional and central markets to enhance their role in serving the national economy and revitalizing the commercial movements in the country. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister was briefed by the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf, on the stages of the project and its economic and commercial importance. His Royal Highness also exchanged talks with a number of market traders about their business activities and the government's facilities to support the private sector. The Prime Minister expressed admiration 
collaboration with the Muharraq Central Market's new architectural style, hailing the developments of the market's facilities, organization and services provided to shoppers and employees to meet their needs. For their part, a number of the market's traders and citizens expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his support to enhance trade and investments in the country and pleasure with the inauguration of the market, which will constitute a significant developmental leap for Muharraq. the first uh, of a number of projects that, uh, that is going to be built in other governments. Uh, the ministry outlook on this and the uh, aim is to, uh, is to provide such services in, uh, to the uh, people of, uh, in different governments. This uh, commercial and the central market, uh, uh, and there are 60 shops providing all services, all commercial services uh, to the uh, shoppers. Uh, it also uh, have 102 stalls uh, for vegetables, for uh, fish, uh, fish market and for uh, uh, vegetables. Uh, it also uh, have a, a big uh, shopping center. Uh, the the main uh, the main aim of Lada is to have all these services under one ceiling. Project has started in 2013, and we've been continuing with the project and the development in several phases. The first phase is obviously is the phase that has to do with the development and uh, relocation of the old tenants. Uh, the second part of it is the development, which took about two years in terms of the development. And we have started already the leasing. The leasing process has started very well and we have about 88% leased out. And we've, we're working in uh, partnership with the uh, Ministry of Works and Municipalities. So this is a public-private par uh, partnership. The government in the future and now started uh, to bring the, the, all the private sector as a partner. Most of the government services will be now handed over to private sector and this is to improve the services and reduce the cost and this is uh, the first central market to be built, run and operated by the private sector and other central markets will be following inshallah. Now uh, all Bahrainis and people living in Bahrain, they will come and shop under one roof, they will do their shopping, this is 
sort of a, a tourism shopping rather than the normal shopping. Now uh, everything is available, f all types of food, all, all types of fruits, all types of veg vegetables, and also other retail shops uh, available in this area. There is a lots of parking lots that people that can park their cars and come uh, walking. They can bring their kids to have a tour and play around and then do their shopping. It's one of the best shopping centers. As Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday evening visited the Majlis of the Bin Hindi family, the Majlis of the late Ali Rashid Al Amin, the Majlis of Sheikh Adil Al Maouda, and the Majlis of Ibrahim Al Sheikh. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa accompanied His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to the Majlis visits. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of further advancing Bahrain's entrepreneurial sector, noting the key role that play in the kingdom's economic development. He underlined the kingdom's citizen-centric approach to development, which aims to upskill the national workforce and generate quality job opportunities in line with His Majesty the King's aspirations. He stressed that the kingdom has launched various programs that promote innovation and economic diversification, which aim to benefit the kingdom's citizens. His Royal Highness outlined the importance of continuing to invest in emerging sectors to capitalize on new business opportunities and we enforce Bahrain's competitiveness in the wider knowledge-based economy. In this regard, the Crown Prince highlighted Bahrain's continued efforts in modernizing its IT infrastructure by launching projects that support the kingdom's thriving information and communications technology, the ICT sector. He underscored the vital contributions made by Bahrain citizens during the kingdom's comprehensive development, affirming that their efforts are central to the kingdom's prosperous future. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance initiatives and policies undertaken by the kingdom in order to enhance government efficiency, adding that these measures were taken to ensure the sustainability of the kingdom's finances to benefit future generations. For their part, the Majlis hosts and guests expressed their gratitude for His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's visits.
The head of the Bahraini delegation to the World Health Organization's 72nd Assembly, the Minister of Health Faiqa bin Saeed al-Saleh, delivered Bahrain's speech at the preliminary session at the Palace of Nations in Geneva. In her speech, she conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman al-Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa, and the citizens of Bahrain to the organization, wishing the Assembly success to reach the desired goals and objectives. During her address, the minister expressed her utmost pride and pleasure in the naming of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister as a world leader in a unique move by the WHO in its seven-decade history. She said that it is in appreciation of His Royal Highness's great efforts and achievements in the health industry and His Royal Highness's constant follow-up to achieve sustainable development goals, especially those related to health. The minister stated that the Kingdom has managed that in the era of His Majesty the King, with the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the constant follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. She added that through the set plans and policies of the government, the country has secured inclusive health services to all citizens and residents. The minister said that despite these major achievements, the demographic shift remains a challenge. As a result, the Kingdom has adopted the National Social Health Insurance Law to reach high-quality, sustainable competitive health services that meet the needs of the beneficiaries. The Council of Representatives held a press conference in which the Permanent Parliamentary Committee reviewed the achievements of their work and the most important topics and laws that were put forward and discussed during the first session of the fifth legislative term, projects, decrees, resolutions and proposals. The Chairman of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee, Ali Ishaqi, said that the committee held 30 meetings and completed 13 topics, while the Chairman of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee Mohamed al Bahrainin said that the committee completed 12 topics. The chairman of the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee, Dr. Hisham al Lashiri, said that nine topics were completed and more than 80 topics were considered. The chairman of the Public Utility and Environment Committee, Abdul Razak Hatab, said that the committee completed 41 topics and chairman of the Service Committee, Ammar Gambar, said that the committee completed 59 topics.